Hello friends, we are continuing with the concept of demand for money. One more approach for demand of money, which is inventory theoretic approach. Is it all right? Uh, uh, the approach is derived by Baumels and Tobins, which says demand of money, money is equal to inventory in business. So whatever decisions you are taking for your goods in your go down inventory, you will be taking it for money. They have treated money as good as a business inventory and people will be taking the decision based upon uh, how they take the decision of inventory. Now understand a simple concept. Number one, if your income is higher, demand for money will be higher if your business is big the demand for your or the average inventory will be higher is it all right now try to understand a simple concept uh, we have already learned eoq this is the same concept 2ao divided by c under root is it all right which gives you an economic ordering quantity and this concept will be helpful when we uh, learn inventory theoretic approach for demand of money is it all right now try to understand suppose my total money required during the year is say rupees 1 lakh it is per annum is it all right so will i store 1 lakh rupees on the first day of the year the answer is no is it all right because this is my requirement per annum this is my requirement for full year there is no use in uh, storing full 1 lakh in one box and not earning any interest on it is it all right so the question is how much cash balance should i maintain as on today out of this 1 lakh rupees this is requirement per annum then it will be dependent if i keep a balance of 10000 rupees i will be keeping a balance of 10000 rupees using it again withdrawing money from my bonds or fixed deposit again using 10000 and i'll do it for 10 times start and if i decide to keep 50000 rupees as cash balance I will be doing the same thing two times. Now, how it is dependent? Try to understand. We are having a cash balance. We want to keep it in bonds or say fixed deposit. So it depends whether I'll be going for this approach or whether I'll be going for this particular option. Is it alright? So if to keep a bond and fixed deposit if the brokerage is higher which approach i'll go with if the brokerage is higher i'll not be keeping much many times so i'll be going with this approach but if the brokerage is lower i will be going with this approach Okay, if the interest is higher, I will be keeping less amount in my cash balance so that 90,000 rupees is invested. One time only 10,000 cash balance I am holding. 90,000 is invested for remaining period. Again, I will be using 10,000. Again, 80,000 will be uh, in your fixed deposit. Here, if I uh, keep cash balance of 50,000, only 50,000 will be kept in fixed deposit. So, if the interest is higher, I'll be going for this. Similarly, if the interest is lower, I'll be going for this approach. This, all right. And it explains, understand, uh, you can find out once we uh, do the concept of costing. Uh, we can easily find out uh, uh, how much amount at a time you should be keeping in the uh, bond. Is it all right? And uh, uh, that will be the concept of economic ordering quantity. This is inventory theoretic approach for demand for money. And it says that people keep a cash balance 
एज दे टेक डिसीशन ऑफ इन्वेंटरी इन दर बिजनेस दिस इज अप्रोच गिवन बाई बाउमल्स एंड टॉबिन थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स